the first thing I'm going to do is make a square cut on the hose. Next thing is I take the Gates compression fitting and it comes in two pieces. So the first piece that it'll go on is this piece here that will thread onto the hose. Once this is on, this piece will be screwed into it to create the compression seal. So I put this on. These are reverse threaded, so make sure you put it on spinning, spinning it counterclockwise. So if it gets tight or hard to do, you can also take an adjustable wrench it on and that'll help spin it on. So you're going to want to tighten this down all the way until it bottoms out and you'll feel it and you should be able to see it as well inside of there. Um, once you've done that, back it out about a quarter of a turn at most. Once you have the first half of the fitting on your hose, now you need to put the second piece into it. So this is going to go inside the tubing on the inner, inside of the hose and be threaded onto the fitting. Uh, to make that easier, take a little bit of motor oil or any kind of oil we have and just lightly grease the tip of this fitting. Um, now to connect these two together, it will get pretty tight so you can either use two adjustable wrenches or like I'm going to do, you can just put the one end of the hose into a vise. And then use just one adjustable wrench to snug it up. You do not need any kind of Teflon tape or anything uh, for the threads on this piece. So this is all uh, strictly a compression fitting to make the seal. So you're going to want to tighten this down the entire way until the two pieces meat and or snug. Alright, so the first part of the repair is done right there. Alright, once the hose is on, uh, next thing we want to do is connect the M22 adapter. Um, you could thread this directly onto here and call it a day, um, but I want to put a quick connect fitting in between the two. So these threads are going to need some Teflon tape to seal them. So we'll just take our tape, wrap it around a few times. And then the male end of this fitting is going to go into the female end of the quick connect. This will take two adjustable wrenches to snug it down. One end, and the other end is going to be the M22 fitting that screws onto the pressure washer, and the other end of the quick connect. So, same thing here, put some Teflon tape on the threads. And we'll hand thread it on to start before finishing up with. Our wrenches. And 
And now the two ends are complete. So this end's going to screw onto the pressure washer. And this end I can just quickly connect anytime I need to use it. So you could put this end onto the pressure washer hose. Uh, I'd suggest though putting it on the pressure washer itself. That way if your hose ends up touching your exhaust, which is typically close by, you have to do the repair again. You could take this fitting off, move it a little bit further down the hose, uh, and be back in business. Once all those connections are complete, uh, you're done. So I will link the specific fittings. Uh, the most important one is this Gates fitting. Uh, I'll put it in the description below. Um, it's important to get the right size. There is hundreds of different ones that they make uh, so that it fits the outside of the hose as well as the inside of the tubing inside the hose. Um, this is again just a quarter inch inside diameter hose. Uh, the outside diameter of this hose, I believe, is about a half inch. Um, so if that's the size of the hose, which is pretty standard among all consumer pressure washers, uh, this fitting should work for you. Um, the fitting on the end here connecting the pressure washer is a standard M22. Um, that, that's pretty common. So that's the ones any yeah, pressure washer you'll get it. Home Depot or Lowe's, at least all the gas ones. This is going to be the standard fitting. Um, it's the size of the fitting of all the replacement hoses they sell there as well. Um, so this should definitely be the one you need unless you have some small electric pressure washer. Um, so if this video was helpful, uh, click the like button and feel free to subscribe. I'll be adding more videos every week. Thanks.